to uh, part three, which is uh, we're going to skin this in uh, carbon fiber or encapsulate it. Um, we've got uh, some uh, cleaner here. This is a wax degreaser um, just to get you know the surface nice and clean so that we get a good adhesion between uh, the part and the carbon fiber. Um, so we're going to go ahead and wipe this down um, and then uh, we'll get started uh, laying carbon fiber. What Jason's doing right now is he's blowing out the uh, uh, residual uh, paper towel and stuff like that and drying it off. Okay, um, so we're going to need some tools. Uh, we talked about this in uh, part two, um, but we'll uh, get a little more detail here. Uh, gloves, always a good idea. Definitely need a dust mask because that stuff throws off a lot of fibers. Also do it in a well-ventilated area like we're doing outside. Uh, you need your uh, spray adhesive, uh, your scissors. I usually have a file because the uh, carbon fiber is pretty tough on the scissors. Uh, so sometimes I have to file those down and sharpen them up. Um, and then what we're gonna do is never throw out your remnants. Always keep them in a pile like this because this is actually what's gonna add the strength to the inside because uh, we're going to do a lot of overlapping of the weaves. Um, and then we have our uh, nice straight stuff, which will be the beauty layer on the outside. So let's get started. Ready? Okay, so now we're going to take our spray adhesive. We're going to coat the inside. Don't get crazy with this stuff. You just need a light coat because we just need to stick the carbon fiber to the inside. So go ahead and do uh, all of the inside, um, and then we'll start laying our carbon fiber. Now sometimes you'll see some bubbles coming off and landing on the part. Um, on the front surface, we're going to want to take care of that, and that's coming from the tip building up with adhesive. But on the inside, it really doesn't matter that much. Um, so some of the carbon fiber will come like this with a little bit of a tape on it. You don't want to put that on your part. Um, it makes a weak point, so go ahead and snip that off. Um, and then just pick a starting point. We'll start up here. And there's no real science to this. You just want to lay it down, spread it nice and even. And then you go get your second piece. This. And you lay that somewhere where it goes nicely. So this is kind of like doing a puzzle. Um, don't worry about little uh, warps and stuff like this because uh, this is the back side. Uh, when we get to the front side, you'll see that we take a little more care into these. And just lay it down. Now when you have little problems like this where it's stretched, you want to cut it so that it lays down. And then you want to cut it about a centimeter from the edge because when we do the front side we're going to overlap it um, and that will make a nice strong part. So now when we're overlapping some of that, um, what we want to do, we want to have our spray adhesive and just cover that really lightly so that it does adhere. That piece in. And the object is to try to get it nice and flat. Now the vacuum bag is going to take care of any real low areas, so it's not too critical. Lots of scrap over here. And the idea is you just keep doing this. So we'll just keep doing this, and you're going to want to do two layers of this on the back side or three, depending upon this, how much strength you want in your part.
Don't forget to wear your dust mask. Again, you don't have to be too fussy about this. I hit stop on that. So here's uh, here's a couple of layers of this stuff, and yes, it looks like crap, but that's okay. Once this gets infused and, and uh, vacuum bagged, it'll all compress nicely. And it'll be strong, strong, strong. And just to show you what that looks like, here's a, the quarter panel. You can really hear how strong that is. It's just amazingly uh, tough and light. Okay, so now uh, we've got the inside done. And we're gonna start uh, doing the outside and this is a more important part because this is the part that you're going to see <clears throat> so we sprayed it down with spray adhesive and then we're going to start rolling out the carbon fiber on top so now we've laid this on top and we're going to start from the middle and start smoothing it out as we go trying to avoid any big uh, bubbles or poles or anything now remember we got another layer going over the top of this, so uh, this one doesn't have to be totally perfect. So here we go, we've got layer number one on. This one uh, we don't have to be as fussy about. Um, we'll put layer two on, we'll be a little bit better about it, but then these little areas down here we're going to actually put in panels to make them nice and clean looking you can see how it's kind of chopped up here but we'll we'll put in a single panel we'll cut around the corners um, and then once it's uh, in the bag and uh, uh, infused uh, they'll disappear so anyway um, let me show you a good example of that will be on this hood where we did separate panels and you can see that it just looks nice and uniform. So, um, so anyway, just, uh, just a little note or a tip on when you're doing these things. And now we're getting ready for the last layer. 